Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mac. Brand new video, and today I'm doing my um, comparison for Lego Star Wars Snow Trooper Battle Pack and the Lego Star Wars 504 Specialist Battle Pack. Both of these are obviously battle packs, and they both retail for 20 US dollars or 14 pounds. Now I'm going to do different categories: my opinion, um, army building, minifigures, build, value, display, slash design, which I'm sure. You've seen this type of video before, comparing them. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've done this exact video before. But I'm doing it again, because why not? Updated version, hopefully better quality. Anyway, so first we'll do the minifigure category. What set has better minifigures? Now, first up, on the left, we have two 501st Heavy Troopers with nice little backpacks. Unfortunately, these figures are ruined with the ugly helmet holes. And then we have a Specialist Trooper. And a captain. The captain you suffers the most with the helmet holes, the ugly double stacked helmet holes, and the printed waist cape. And the specialist actually has a really nice um, special piece just for him. The visor, the macro binocular visor thing, which looks really nice. Figures, very good. Now, over here, we have one scout trooper. Grey arms. And now one thing that happens is on the wrist back here, it does crack quite a lot. I'd probably say four out of my eight um, scout troopers are probably cracked. But then you have three plain snow troopers. One of them has just longer rifle, the other two have plain. They're the exact same minifigure. Quite cool looking, the newer ones. And then they have nice head underneath. All different. But yeah, still... A very nice looking figure and then I'm gonna say that better figures has to go to the 501st one these figures are better but it's one it's one point to um, specialist and one and zero points to snow trooper but this is better for army building so that's one point to each so far I'll say that's better minifigures, but that's better for army building. That's one point to each. Now, get figures out of here for now. Going to focus on builds. So, this build has a clear bit there and four legs. So, it's got a bit of, when you push it down, it go, the thing makes contact. Then, it looks really nice, to be fair. It's a um, cannon, long range, whatever. Looks good. Got hints of yellow. It's got spring load shooter, which is good for playability. And then it's got a seat here so that you can seat a minifigure. But yeah, not much going on. Now, this has a really nice snow, snow, snow speeder, snow trooper speeder bike, which looks really nice. Then you've got the cannon, cannons underneath, you've got a blaster, um, special me megaphone to act as cannon, you've got the pedals, you've got flaps on the back. You've got snowbank, and then you have a turret. Now, design, for which looks better, the design, I have to give to the snow battle pack, because it's just a bit sleeker. Now, that's 2-1 to the battle pack. Now, if we go to playability, this has three little builds, and this only has one. This has got a spring load shooter in a seat. It's got a seat, stud shooter, and an extra place to put your minifigure. So, I think... It's only fair. Playability goes to Snow Trooper Battle Pack because there's more more to play with. There's the things have like similar things to play. If you get what I mean, a seat here, a seat here, stud, shoot, right. But yeah, I think it goes to this one. So that's three one to Snow Trooper Battle Pack so far. Now my opinion, I'm just gonna put it this way. I have one of these and eight of these. It's fairly obvious. I think this set... I think this is a better set, but this is a better battle pack. So that's why I'm going to say my personal opinion goes to Snow Trooper Battle Pack here. But yeah. Anyway, so, if we move on to the next category, which is uh, design, which is better designed, I think they're both fairly well designed. Now... This one has movable legs. 
got a shooter here, so you can shoot, you can angle your turret. Got a little black bit at the end with a tip, so it can act as a turret. But then this one, it looks fairly well designed. It's got a bit of weak bits at the front that can twist and spin and come off fairly easily. But yeah, anyway, I am going to have to say this set is better designed. But yeah, it looks just a bit like the designers put a bit more care and effort into this set. But yeah. Anyway, let's stick with figures on and see what they look. I now have the minifigures in their respective positions. Now, one thing I will say is there's a lot going on here for the minifigures to go and do and be in. There's only one here, and it doesn't look like he's doing much. He's just kind of sat there. And also, it's really loose connection, so you can see how the connection works. It's really loose, not that good. But yeah, anyway... I think with minifigures as well, especially, it has to go to a snow battle pack. I think it's just a better set in general. Now, also, the weapons are, like, a bit irrelevant, but probably goes to this one. So, yeah, if you're purchasing, I would highly recommend getting a snow battle pack. You can add to your snow army. It can mean that if you get the UCS 8080, there's more to add to your collection. So, yeah, that's why I would go for this set over this set so if you're making a purchasing decision maybe something to roll on the christmas list and you have maybe like 20 quid left over on the budget you want to get something in there this is the set I, I would choose personally not this one i'd go for this one but if you already have one of these maybe go three thirty second battle pack but this one is still the one i would go for anyway i'll see you guys next time brand new video peace